So welcome biologists, this is part two of specification point F from biodiversity. And we are going to be continuing to look at the impact on um, and the factors affecting biodiversity. So at the end of the last video, I did suggest watching um, some good documentaries such as The Blue Planet. Um, basically, a lot of David Attenborough's current um, documentaries are really good at the general knowledge surrounding this lesson objective. Uh, so I advise that you watch these to help with your understanding of what's happening with the um, population and also the climate change that's occurring at the moment. So um, climate climate change can obviously have a bad impact on the environment. We're now going to be starting to look at agriculture. So obviously as the human population is growing, we need to create more land or more areas for um, growing crops to feed the growing population. Now, this is an example of monoculture. Mono obviously means one culture, culturing the crops. And this is where you get massive, massive fields of growing one crop and one species. Obviously, this is really bad for the biodiversity. It decreases the habitat biodiversity. It decreases the species diversity. And it will also decrease the genetic biodiversity of the area. Monoculture is really bad. It gets rid of the hedges, which obviously have a lot of biodiversity and habitats within there. Um, and it just decimates the wildlife in the surrounding areas. Also, uh, during this, you're taking away a lot of nutrients from the soil, which is not good because they're not usually put back in very well. Also, um, if you do take out the roots of the plant as well, which does normally happen, it creates soil erosion and the the soil can be washed away. Um, so monoculture is bad in, in, and has many disadvantages. Um, and obviously you can see from this graph here, and this is from 2005, it has got worse since then. Look at the percentage and look at the um, decrease in the, the greenery around the world. And that's just, oh, that's um, 15 years ago now. Um, so it, massive impacts on biodiversity by deforestation to create land for monoculture and, and growing crops. Um, so cutting down plant species as well. Um, obviously, we looked at a couple of videos ago talking about how plants could be a source of medicine as well. So by decreasing the, uh, the and cutting down plants, we're also decreasing our chances of finding new medicinal purposes for plants. So the impacts of monoculture due to feeding the human growth population, as I've mentioned before, by removing the roots of trees and deforestation for crops, you're causing soil erosion there because the roots aren't in place to hold the soil there. Um, also, due to the removal of crops, you are taking the goodness out of the soil. So you need to be able to put stuff back in. You're also reducing the habitats for things such as pollinators. And pollinators, obviously, we need them to pollinate our plants. So by reducing the habitat biodiversity and reducing the population of, of bees, for example, we are um, we're causing a negative impact on other plants as well. Um, so this is just a link into the cycles here at the bottom here as you can see as we're removing we're going to look at your cycles your nitrogen and your carbon cycle in a2 but for the moment it's just important to realize that as we're taking nitrogen and carbon from the soil in the plants in the crops they're not being put in uh, very well um and also these here are just other examples of how monoculture and other farming ideas can impact on biodiversity. So we've got deforestation. We've also got things like mines and digging away um, at the countryside there for, for material underneath the ground that we would need to support the human, the growing human population. So we've had a look at all three of those factors now, uh, how the human population is growing at an exponential rate, how we need an increase in agriculture to support the, the growing human population. And that happens to be monoculture, where we get massive fields of one type of crop, which massively reduces the biodiversity of that area in terms of species richness, species evenness, habitat biodiversity, and also genetic diversity. And we've also talked about climate change as well. 
guys, please read up about this. Please watch documentaries on these. It's a lot of common knowledge here that you can apply from watching videos on this as well. Guys, please remember in your exam, don't use the words it, they, amount, or size. Use good scientific terminology in your descriptions and explanations and good 